All right, this is my Calculus 1 related rates practice problems. And I'm going to do two. This is the first video of two where I'm practicing some real world problems. And the first one is about making coffee. And this is a fun one because it says coffee is draining from a conical filter. So that is nice, a cone into a cylindrical coffee pot, which is our coffee pot here, at a rate of 10 cubic inches per minute. So what they just told us was dvdt is 10 cubic inches per minute. Now I'm leaving a space here because the coffee is draining from the filter into the pot. So this is what we have here. That rate will be different discussing whether we're talking about the filter or the coffee pot, okay? So the first part A on this slide is how fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is five inches deep? So we need to know the five inches later on. So for the A part, we're just gonna talk about the pot. So here's our coffee pot, if you will. And coffee is going into here, the coffee pot. And they said it's, so if that's the case, if the coffee is coming in here from the filter, that's a better picture, I know that my DVDT is gonna be a positive 10 because my coffee is going to be rising because it's coming from the filter. So for the pot, it's a positive, okay? So that's what I need to know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is they wanna know how fast the level's rising. So I want to come up with my formula. So remember, the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height. The base is a circle right here. This is a circle right here. So this is going to be pi r squared. So the volume is the base is pi r squared times the height. Now the problem with that is I have two variables. I have the radius and the height. And they want us to find how fast the level it's rising. So we're looking for dh dt. The only thing I can tell you right now is that it's gonna be positive because the coffee is rising in the coffee pot because it's coming from the filter, okay? So it's pi r squared, I just forgot the squared here, pi r squared times h, because that's what the area formula for a circle is, times h. Now, because they looked at this picture, it looks like everything's six inches, which is nice, that if I know it's six inches across from here to here, I know the radius is going to be three. And if you're talking about the coffee rising, the radius is constant, I'm just going to throw the 3 right in here. So I have pi times 3 squared times the height. The volume for our coffee pot only for this is 9 pi h. That's the volume formula, formula for our coffee pot. Okay, so now I want to figure out how fast is it rising when the cone is five inches. So I'm going to start doing the derivative. So I always change the color because I have people say they start doing the derivative right away. I said, no, try to find your formula first. So I'm going to say the derivative, all right, of the volume with respect to time is going to be, there's a one here, it's power rule, nine pi dh and it's with respect to time. So there is our related rates formula, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is throw in what they gave us and they told us that dv dt was 10 cubic inches. So this is gonna be 10 cubic inches per minute equals nine pi, okay? Now when you do that, this is in inches squared right here. So it's nine pi inches squared dh dt, okay? All right, because if I put the inches here, which I should have, it would have squared inches. So I'm just fixing it, okay? Now, if I divide by nine pi inches squared, I have, now I'm gonna have 10 over nine pi is my dh dt. And the units, if you'll see what I've got going here is going to be, I have centimeters here, they're all in inches. This should be cubic inches. I don't know where I got centimeters, probably so used to doing that. I'm sorry about that. Cubic inches per minute. Then my height is gonna come out into be inches per minute. So when I divide nine pi in the 10, I get my dh dt is going to be 0.3537 inches per minute. And what makes me happy about this is that it's positive because the coffee is rising, okay? 
Now, I'm going to do the B part on another slide that has the same picture because they want to talk about how fast is the level of the cone falling. So now we're going to talk about the cone. So here's the same picture. The cone is six inches by six inches. No centimeters here. Sorry about that. So here's my cone. I now know the radius is going to be three inches because it's six across and it's six up and down. Okay. So now here I have water going in here. It's going out. So here my DVDT is going to be negative. 10 cubic inches because it's leaving the coffee filter in this part. So it makes a difference how you're looking at this. So this is cubic inches per minute, okay? It's leaving the coffee filter. Now, what makes this one different is when this is going down, if anything you have comes to a point, notice this is my radius and this is my height. As it goes down, I have all these little right triangles, it's changing. So there is a ratio going on, all right? So let's start with this. So I have the volume of this is the same as a cylinder, but it's one third. So it's one third, the radius, I mean, excuse me, the base is still a circle. So it's pi r squared times the height, but it's one third of that, okay? Again, I can't just say I can throw the radius and it's okay because it's changing now that it comes to a point. So you have to do a ratio and say, okay, what's my radius to my height? Well, the radius is three, the height is six. So if I cross multiply, I get six R equals three H. And you wanna solve for R because they wanna, again, how fast is that level going? They're looking for dH dt. So if I solve for R, I get three over six H or one half of H. So I'm going to put this in my formula. So that is taken care of. So I've got one half of H in the R spot. And then I'm going to multiply that through one third pi times one fourth h squared times h. So the volume of my cone is one twelfth pi h cubed. Okay? That is the volume for my cone, and it takes into account how it's changing. Okay? Now we're going to start doing the derivative because we want to find what the dh dt is going to be on here. So I'm going to do the derivative. So I have dv dt, take the derivative, take the power rule, 3 times 1 12th is 1 fourth pi h squared. Okay? Now the only thing they gave us is they told us it was 5 inches, and they told us dv dt. So I'm not going to put the units in this one, but you know you're going to get the same one, the same values we had last time as in what our units are. So I one fourth pi. They wanted to know when the height in the cone was five inches. So I'm going to put five squared. And I want to do dh dt. Okay. So I'm just going to play around here. And I'm going to say, oh, okay, I want to find out what dh dt is. So I'm just going to kind of put everything on one side. So I'm going to multiply by 4. So I've got the 4 times a negative 10. And then I'm going to divide by 25 pi. You can actually just put all of this in your calculator right here and, and divide the negative 10 by that. But I'm just, I like doing this, so I am showing you where it came from. And when I get that done, I get a negative 0.5093, and it's going to be inches per minute. And I, it makes me happy that it's negative because the water is leaving the cone. So I hope that helps with that, and I'm sorry for those couple mistakes, and thanks for coming.